going to tell you about the pestle analysis that uh, we did for uh, two degrees. Uh, pestle analysis is a tool used by companies to know what are the external factors uh, which can affect the company. They are uh, divided in six kind of factors. The first one is uh, political factors. Uh, in this one, in this group of factors, we can find government regulations, uh, policies, laws, uh, pressure groups, or uh, trade ties. For two degrees, we found three important factors uh, in this group. The first one is all the regulations made by Commerce Commission of New Zealand, who is the department uh, that regulates uh, prices for all the companies uh, around the country. Also, the IRD, which uh, most of us uh, uh, know, uh, is the department who collects all the who collects all the taxes. The um, GST uh, taxes for two degrees is fifteen percent, and it's uh, the taxes for good service. For the company, for all the all the invoices, need to have uh, these uh, taxes included. The third one is the Minister uh, of Health, which regulates all the maximum spectrum level of radio frequency uh, emitted by the cellular, the cellular towers. Okay. These are the political factors. Now the economic part factors are uh, inflation rate, uh, action rates, economic growth, and uh, interest rate. We found two important for uh, two degrees. The first uh, one is the inflation rate, which uh, the current uh, amount or rate is one point is uh, uh, 1.9 percent, and it, uh, uh, this rate has been for the last years in New Zealand. Then uh, it uh, uh, shows a stable uh, economic environment in the country to develop the company. The second one uh, is the interest rate, which the current interest rate is uh, 1.75 percent. Then it is uh, it permits customers and companies uh, get product or uh, may uh, get uh, loans with the bank in an easy or uh, easy way. In social factors, we found uh, two important uh, which can affect uh, New Zealand. Then one of is one of them is a cultural trend, which is uh, most of the um, houses or uh, households spend around one hundred and thirty-five dollars per month in the communication service, which means uh, most of the population in New Zealand wants to have uh, data or uh, calls by uh, phones or broadband uh, in the houses, then it opens the possibility for two degrees to get much more customers. Uh, another cultural, uh, another social factor is uh, uh, how Tanya uh, has uh, mentioned. Two degrees uh, has a big uh, coverage in New Zealand. Uh, however, around uh, the 
around uh, 87% of all the consumers have possessed some kind of telecommunication service in the last two years. This uh, trend opened uh, even more the possibility and facility to, uh, for two degrees to uh, expand uh, its service. In technological factors, we found uh, four important factors that can uh, affect two degrees. The first one um, is uh, all the uh, 4G system, which uh, two degrees uh, now all its technology is based on uh, 4G, and they need to be prepared to uh, translate. Uh, no, it's late. It's, uh, to pass from 4G to 5G, which is uh, coming uh, soon, like in one, two years, then they need to be a uh, uh, good and robust uh, infrastructure to can uh, uh, to pass from one technology to the next technology. Uh, another factor is two degrees uh, need to be part of the digital revolution uh, with uh, a stable mobile environment and investing in technological automation. This factor uh, is important uh, to be support but a uh, research department in two degrees because uh, all the companies are advancing so fast and the technology then two degrees needs to be uh, updated with all the technologies. Uh, also two degrees needs to implement uh, ultra fast from bank and rural from bank especially because New Zealand is uh, characterized by uh, rural areas then they need to be uh, updated in these two factors. Oops. And uh, be part also uh, with the big data, which uh, now most the information about trends, uh, about uh, customer needs and customer uh, wants are from uh, big data, then two degrees need to uh, do research about all the cultural trends uh, and they can support uh, its analysis using uh, the big data. Uh, the last two groups of factors is environmental and legal. Uh, legal. In environmental, we found uh, four factors uh, that can affect New Zealand uh, uh, to degrees uh, operation. The first one is the different uh, weather patterns that uh, New Zealand uh, has and the wine conditions, which can uh, damage two degrees infrastructure. The second one uh, is about the rural areas, because uh, it, for two degrees it's uh, difficult to expand its uh, infrastructure to far and rural areas in New Zealand, then they need to implement an expansion plan to achieve 100% uh, coverage. Another environmental factor is uh, the recycling. Nowadays we know the recycling is very, very important and all the electronic devices uh, make important damage in the environmental, then two degrees has uh, 
has uh, developed a removal uh, program uh, in company with the, uh, the Minister of uh, Environmental. Uh, this program is uh, based on all the mobiles which uh, people doesn't want anymore. Then uh, people in New Zealand can go uh, and left the uh, old uh, mobiles and they uh, recycle it. They recycle, uh, recycle the, these mobiles. And uh, the last factor, environmental factor, is the natural disasters that we are exposed uh, to them. Then can be anytime, uh, anywhere, then uh, uh, two degrees need to have a um, uh, contain uh, a plan in case that a uh, natural disaster occurs, then uh, they need uh, to have a plan uh, which specify how they are going to uh, react in front of a uh, natural disaster. In the last group of factors, which is uh, legal factors, we found uh, two important. Uh, the first one is the Minister of Business Innovation and Employ uh, Employment, which uh, uh, regulates all the laws uh, around employment in New Zealand. And the second one is the copyright law, which uh, two degrees need to respect, and also they need to register all its uh, uh, technological uh, development. Now, uh, Tania is going to explain uh, self analysis. 